back. Uh, today's a big day, but uh, we'll talk about that in a minute. First, we'll talk about uh, the Balacon. So in La Paz, there are there is basically the, the Mexican government or people of La Paz put quite a few million pesos, which probably doesn't mean a whole lot of dollars, but into this walking path that runs along the ocean through town. It uh, doesn't actually start too far from our hotel. What are uh, what are some of the features, Mark? Of, of the Malacon? Yeah. yeah. What, what do you see when you, when you drive down town? Uh, when I drive downtown, well, most of the time my eyes are on the road because I don't like driving in Mexico, <laughs> but from what I saw, yeah. there's a uh, walking path, of course. I mentioned kind that. of a park area. There's a few parks. Yeah. Kind of some statues. To my recollection, there's like a big hammer toe, hammer shark, hammer whale, whatever it's called. Hammer sharks. Whale like sharks. Whale sharks. Not a hammer, <laughs> not a hammer toe. <laughs> Um, that would be what they probably have. Uh, big oyster, the big old there's that pearl yeah. in it, yeah. pearl, and uh, there's a woman that resembled the gal that was down at the beach, and her husband was taking nude pictures of her. Oh, uh, yeah, that's there. right. La Paz sign, of course, a very colorful one, yeah, like you see in Cabo, or probably a lot of other places as well in Mexico. But there's that. Of course, uh, there's a lot of people, you know, skateboarding and walking, oh, right. bike riding, jogging. Yes. Well, the, so the bike riding is an interesting thing because there's rollerblading, rollerblading, Xanadu, Xanadu yeah. for sure. Um, there's a bike path, but it's actually separate from the Malacon. Oh, and it, it goes down oh, the same right. route. But yep. It's green. Yep. And it says uh, "Solo Bikes" or something. Uh, only bikes on it. Spanish. So a lot of the bike riders, Carrie and I, when we're walking, we see people riding by, and some people use it, some people decide not to. It's kind of like the bike path in Coeur d'Alene. A lot of those guys just ride on the road, right? Which, uh, whatever. But anyway, uh, so the Malacan is a pretty cool feature of La Paz, and that you can get around really well without, you know, breaking your ankle on an uneven sidewalk or because it's very nicely done. Yeah, very nice. The only thing though that it seems to lack in some areas that we probably wouldn't, the government wouldn't tolerate in the US, I guess, is the lack of a railing. There's sections of the Malacan where you can fall and get hurt pretty bad if you weren't paying attention. We're out here on the Malacan, and interestingly enough, in the US, I think you'd have a rail here, but here you don't in most of it. So you know, kind of watch yourself. You don't want to be looking at your phone or answering a text while you're walking or you might end up in the ocean. Right. Of course, that, here it's your own fault. In the US, then you'd probably sue somebody right. for that because you know, you could make, make money. I'm kidding, of course, but uh, yeah. Yeah, so that's, that's kind of it for. Malacon. Of course, on the other side, as you're driving down, there's the, the Malacon walkway, and then on the other side, there's all the there's a lot of restaurants and shops and cool things to see there. That makes it nice to get downtown and do your shopping. Yeah, half the stuff we haven't even well, three quarters of the stuff we haven't even seen yeah. yet. Yeah. Shopping, but we will. Sh yeah, we're well, not going to see shopping because I don't like shopping. You can't tolerate it. Shopping's no fun. Mm -hmm.